Yes, but you're making an out of distribution generalization that is uh, not backed up by empirical evidence. Most people who will be listening or thinking about the AI debate who aren't specialists are trying to make an assessment of, you know, is AI something worth being scared of or is it something that brings enough positives potentially into our lives to to entertain it enough to, to enter that grey area? It's a big spectrum of opinions. You're probably not able to resolve this completely. There are people like Eliezer who think we should definitely retreat because it's too dangerous to step into this territory. And there are a number of other people who think this is nonsense. We will be able to control these technologies because they develop relatively slowly and we are able to keep track of what we are doing. We have big progress in mechanistic interpretability. We understand what these systems are doing better and better and can control how they are deployed. And we don't know what's true in this space. It's, uh, we have to deal with this uncertainty and possi I, I, uh, they, they, they possibilities. They can't know what's true because that implies that you don't pass any regulations and they get to, uh, to go on doing whatever they want. You know, the, the answer, ah, we can't possibly tell if this is dangerous or not, is one that has been floated many past times in history with respect to endeavors that in retrospect should have been shut down, notably like cigarettes and the, you know, if you're familiar with the history of like bad statistics being used to show that you couldn't prove that cigarettes were causing lung cancer. You know, the, the answer that, the, the claim that you can't know something is also, you know, very politically questionable. Uh, my, my claim is not that like the potential benefits are small or that the potential dangers are very large. It says we're on course to not get the benefits and get the catastrophe. You know, we're on course to, steer, to screw it up at the moment. That's the, that's the claim, case for backing off, not the plan. Yes, but you're making an out of distribution generalization that is uh, not backed up by empirical evidence so far. And uh, well, while you can be correct, it's not sound first principles reasoning that uh, has no alternatives. And basically your reasoning is flawed by the fact that you do not uh, consider any alternatives to your particular reasoning anymore. The case for catastrophe is not tied to some like narrow theory of exactly how minds work. It's that ignorance is not your friend. It's that not knowing which lottery numbers are drawn does not mean that you get to win the lottery. When you have one or many slowly or quickly, when you have super intelligent systems around, things that are smarter than you, if we have screwed up our entry into that, we do not go back to get to go back and try again because they don't let us. There's a sense in which you've got to get it right on the first really serious try and to get any, well, the first time it really matters and to get anything right when you have not tested it under similar circumstances before is a really, really difficult ask in any field of engineering, let alone one based on rather murky science where many of the fundamental principles are not understood. The current systems are behaving in ways that seem cute and fun and because they don't actually have the capability to hurt anyone, but when they do misbehave like that, you know, it's not that anyone can go into the system and figure out what happened and will it happen again. The, the malfunctions seem so fun and harmless because we have no idea what underlies them. It's like trying to put together a nuclear power plant or a nuclear weapon while having no concept of nuclear physics. Of course, the first time it gets large enough, it's going to melt down. They're, they're going in blind, and even if they weren't going in blind, it would still be a very difficult ask to the first time we get lots of systems around that are super intelligence that could take us out, that therefore for the first time have a motive to try to take us out, to have them not take us out, to steer mm -hmm. the outcome. We are not on course to get the benefits. We are on course to get the catastrophe. That is the case for backing off. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.